he's one of the uh, Bob Bar he's the uh, Bob Barian chieftain. Uh, um, anyway, um, yeah, I, I don't know, Jason, yeah, Jason Momoa, that's his name, Jason Momoa, I don't know the lady's name though, but she's very, yeah, she's very easy on the eyes. Uh, well, I got 15, and what can I get at the uh, commodities here? See that? I, I feel like I'm being led, um, led by the missions. could buy some leather. Ah, there was a... Oh, that's where the bloody tea is. God. And the few vegetables. God. I was after that stuff before. And the algae. Yeah, I feel like I'm being led here. Yep, I've got no cargo space anyway, so I'll just go to Bell Terminal. I'll drop in at Leslie City, because that's some significance there. Yeah. 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 I'll look that up on the... Uh, I could look, uh, look up continual on the uh, Wikipedia and actually read um, read about what was um, the business with all that fertilizer and the bomb on someone's farm. Yeah, this um this pro computer <coughs> the computer guy is um just a teenage boy with a very impressive uh, com computer setup and um I, I don't know his name. But um, the actor was in um, one of the uh, latest screen movies. He gets murdered, I think, by his um, accomplice. Um, I don't know the young actor exactly, but um, apparently. Um, he turns it, it turns out that he's actually the person who developed all the uh, technology that the um, that this uh, woman was using. Um, she's part of um, a police, a special police force, um, future police. Um, and they have these that that suit she wears that um, that sort of uh, scans everyone around her and. Um, gives her a readout. Uh, also tracks, it, it can also track people and do other stuff. Um, and she has some special uh, gun weapon that's um, linked to it, so um, it has automatic uh, targeting and stuff like that. Well, apparently it turns out that um, he grows up to become the uh, guy who developed all that technology. And um, as a grown-up, he's um, the guy, the same actor who was in uh, the X-Files. I think he's referred to as the um, 
cancer man or the smoking man because he's always smoking a cigarette if you know which guy I'm talking about uh, but beyond that I didn't find I don't I've lost interest in the show um, the uh, leader of liberate he's actually one of the um, um, Jafar's from uh, Stargate SG-1 um, not not um, Christopher Judge whoever his character is um, it's, it's supposed to be the um, other Jafar he's a real old guy he's got a, a grey beard and bald um, he's got um, pock, pockmarked skin um, I forget the name of I don't know the name of the actor or all the, all the character he plays, but um, he's um, he's on the same side. He's he's one of the um, Jafars that um, that um, um, a part of the um, they have defected from the um, the their um, Goud, the Goud, uh, whatever they're called, Goud um, masters, the. Um, the, the little serpent creatures that um the little parasitic serpent creatures that um uh use people as hosts uh, yeah it's fairly interesting um, that series but um you get like a lot of sky fi television and it tends to get very uh silly towards the end um, when they when they've used up all their good ideas and um, they're just scraping the um, scraping the bottom of the barrel. Um, I enjoy the um, I enjoy the first. I, I think I I watched the first series and after that I, I lost interest. Um, the very first episode. Um, Uh, has a bit of nudity. Um, they they show one of the um, when Apophis, the evil. Uh, where am I? Do I? Do I have to fly around that? Of the sun, uh, head for the sun to uh, change your perspective and head to Leslie City. Anyway, Apophis is um, he's one of the Goed um, leaders, he's uh, one of the big guys. Um, he's not really that big, he sort of dresses like um, C3PO, he wears gold plate armor. He looks kind of like, yeah, he looks kind of like C-3PO, except he doesn't. Um, he talks in a, um, a very deep voice, as all, all the go in. All, um, basically, he's, a, he's actually, a, he, he's some sort of, um, he's possibly some Egyptian um, or South American um, slave. Egyptian or Aztec um, peasant who was um, impregnated with one of the uh, goweed serpent parasites, and um, uh, this um, this um, increased his lifespan and his healing factor. And but he, he's a slave, uh, sharing the same body with this serpent. Um, who takes control? Who basically controls, controls him, and forces him to talk in this um, 
uh, inhumanly deep voice. Uh, and um, what was I saying? He was looking for a mate for his um, a female mate uh, to impregnate uh, whatever passes for um, his serpent wife. Uh, and he, he chose this blonde woman first, but, and he rips off all her clothes, but you don't see anything. And then he, he picks um, Sharae, um, I think that's her name, who's the, um, the girlfriend. Well, basically, she's the daughter of the, um, um, how shall I say, that they're, they're actually, they're, they're people from Earth who have been transported to other planets by the Stargates. And they're kind of like a, an Egyptian or African, um, I think they're Middle Eastern, some sort of Middle Eastern um, um, people who, um, who have been living on this other planet, I forget the name of. Um, anyway, the guy in charge of them um, is um, the father of this girl who was taken by the, the Goud, um invaders when they attacked them. And um, she was thrown into some sort of harem or um, place where they keep all the women. And they, anyway, they take her next and they rip off all her clothes and it's actually shown, um, you actually see her fully naked, unlike the, um, the blonde girl. <laughs> I just thought, that's kind of odd. And um, it's something I look forward to each time I watch the show. I see, well, nice, nice bit of um, 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 flesh, uh, female, female skin there. Um, but um, every other episode afterwards is nothing. <laughs> There's no. It's um. <coughs> it's just something they had in the first episode that didn't recur, occur again, for the rest of the series. Um, it's just a one-off thing. I suppose that was they put that in there that as um kind of experimental experimental nudity um, um, probably to attract more male viewers or female lesbian viewers and um, uh, what what have you and um, what they might have realized is that uh, they need to keep doing that to um, keep attracting um, more people to watch the show or maybe it was just put in there to get their attention. Aside from all the uh, the regular Skyfi geeks like myself who will watch it anyway, the show anyway, based on its other merits, um, um, maybe it wasn't cost effective, and they realised that they'd be spending a lot of money if they um, had to repeat that sort of thing. Um, Maybe the actress really wanted to take her clothes off and um, she was the only one. But they figured it was too expensive to do each episode or for more than one episode. And um, it's just one of those things I remembered. It was actually um, in the original um, premiere of the uh, series. It must have been um, deleted or uh, censored because um, I only noticed that, that they put it in. Um, my father, my father bought the. Um, my father's got the entire series on DVD, and um, I only noticed it when I was watching the DVDs, um, and when they um, put it on cable, cable TV as well. Um, the first couple of times I, I kind of got infatuated <laughs> with the um, uh, very attractive actress who um, reveals all. Um, 
Yeah, apparently she uh, became the girlfriend. She became the girlfriend of the um, of the scientist. With the uh, the language, I think, is the um, he's the archa archaeologist. Is also a language expert. Um, I don't know his name, but he was originally played by. Um, he was originally portrayed. In, in the original film with uh, Kurt Russell, um, who was replaced by the guy who was the original MacGyver. I can't remember their names, just not, I'd, I'd have to look it up on the internet. And I'm just a little bit too busy playing this game at the moment, but um, uh, he's a very well known actor. He used to have a mullet. Haircut. Anyway, he he replaced Kurt Russell, uh, the bloke who the character played portrayed by Kurt Russell, and um, uh, there's this other actor. He's well known. Uh, he's been I've seen him in a few films. Um, I might just um, log back to the desktop after I land just to, just to check this. Wow. I just wanted to see Leslie City. Yeah. Um, that's a big hab habitat ring. Yeah. That was easy. 42. Um, if you're familiar with Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, that's the um, that's the answer to the meaning of life, the universe, and everything. 42. And they asked why. Well, and the computer deep thought said, perhaps it's because you never knew the question. The reason you didn't understand the answer is because you never knew the question. I don't know why I came here, I just checked the bulletin board. Leslie City. Let's get that mixed up. I think I understand the uh, the gist of these missions that um they want you to steal something um, because they want to know how good you are at stealing. They don't really want. Well, yeah, maybe they do want the gear, but they also want to know how good you are at um, getting stuff without paying for it. 
pesticides. Check our sheep yard. <sighs> That's it. Mm. No pythons. Oh, I didn't have to repaint my Cobra. What I was playing earlier. I've been playing that all night. Uh, it actually works on my father's computer. Doesn't work on mine though. Um, Uh, I buy that only I'd, I'd have to pay for it. Um, you pay a lot of money for the. Yeah. I have a cool warrant scanner. I'll get that. Yeah, that looks interesting. It's what you need for stealing. It's actually better. I'm feeling very tired now. Um, but before I go, I'm just going to look and see if... Uh, Okay, I'll, I'll do this first, but um, I'll just go back to the desktop and have a look. Um, um, whoops. Uh, be quicker to... Uh, I hate this. It's always, um... I can't 
can't get on um, Google to um Google is not the default browse um search engine. It's Bing and it's really Bing is really terrible at finding stuff. How much time we got left? I got oh I ain't got nineteen minutes. I'm probably not gonna make it. favorite um, information site. Come on, give it to me now. Uh, I'll just look up the names. Richard Dean Anderson, he's the guy who replaced Kurt Russell. Michael Shanks, he replaced the um, guy from the movie. And there's Amanda Tapping, who's new, but she's in that show. She's also in a another Skyfire show called um, Sanctuary, which was good for a few seasons before it got silly. Um, Christopher Judge is the Jafar. Um, There's Michael Shanks. He's an age old. He's a year older than me. He's born in December 15, 1970. Um, okay, I was December 10, 1971. He seems much more mature than I am. Uh, I've been held back though. Yeah, he's a good character. I, I like his character and um. Shanks played archaeologist Dr. Daniel Jackson. Yes. Daniel Jackson. Uh, there's Richard Dean Anderson minus the um the mullet, the uh the short hair at the front, the long hair at the back that he used to have in MacGyver. Uh, He's pretty funny, but he, he didn't stay in the, uh, he wasn't in the entire series. Here it says MacGyver here. He was Angus MacGyver. That was a great show. Some parts of it were pretty good. Um, he's Lieutenant General Jack O'Neill. Play, originally played... Um, 